Hi everyone, this is Fisher Gwinnett here. Today we're going through Lincoln problem 509, Fibonacci, Fibonacci number. Uh, before we dive in, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, which is dedicated to provide good quality Lincoln tutorials to help fellow CS majors or um, people who have worked as a software engineer in the industry for a few years to land in better jobs in fan companies especially. Uh, with that said, let's dive into today's problem, Fibonacci number. This is a very classical computer science or math problems, the Fibonacci numbers. I believe most people in their third grade should have learned this Fibonacci number. Um, let's revisit this definition, Fibonacci numbers, commonly denoted Fn from um, a sequence called the Fibonacci sequence, such that each number is the sum of two preceding ones starting from zero and one, that is. So basically it, it's giving the definition of the Fibonacci numbers and the first two elements are given. Um, first element is zero, second element is one, and from the third element and onwards is going to be the previous, immediate preceding two numbers adding up. It's going to be the sum, the sum of the previous two numbers adding up. So for any n is greater than 1. For example, when the input is 2, we're calculating the third, the third Fibonacci number, right? Because the index starts from 0. So that means f2 equals f1 plus f0. f1 is 1, f0 is 0, which means f2 is 1. And when we go to 3, which means we are calculating F3, um, this is the same. So we have F1 already. F1 is here. F1 is given is 1. So and F2, we have calculated F2 is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. The same case is true for F4. F4 is, of course, F3 plus F2. And we have F3 from example 2. F3 is 2. And F2 is F2 is from example 1 is 1, so 2 plus 1 is 3. Very straightforward uh, problem and a very familiar problem as well. So there are multiple ways that we can tackle this problem. Um, first, we're going to use the very um, intuitive one. We're going to construct an, an extra array. So basically use O and extra space. But this is the most straightforward and, in, and intuitive solution. So let's start from there. We'll basically calculate from 0 all the way to n minus 1. Then for n, for the nth number, we can simply return the, the its previous two numbers sum. Right? It's very straightforward. So the first two cases are corner cases, are edge cases. So what we're going to do, because they don't follow exactly the description, the rule defined in as for Fibonacci numbers for the first two. So we'll say when n is smaller than 2, which is 0 and 1, we're just going to return n, right? Because when n is 0, f0 is 0 here. When when n is 1, f1 is 1. So we're good here. And then we'll have an array that's called fib num nums. It's going to be n plus 1, right? Because say here, f2. It's actually 0, 1, 2, so three elements. F3, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, actually four elements. For F4, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, five elements, right? So for Fn, we're going to initialize an array of n plus 1 size. And then we'll start from 2, because for 0 and 1, we have the numbers already. It's given. Then i smaller than or equal to n, I plus plus. So it's going to be fit numbers. It's very straightforward. It's going to be, as per the definition, it's going to be fit nums I minus one plus fib nums I minus two. That's it. And the result is going to be fib nums n. That's going to be the result that's going to be returned. So this line is basically implementing the definition of Fibonacci sequence, which is this number is the sum of its previous two numbers. That's it. We, we iterate through 
um, all the way up to n, and then we will get the nth Fibonacci number. Starting from i equals to zero to form this array, but we need to initialize the first two um, elements in this array. To be more exact, we need to initialize this, the second element, which is at index one, to be one. Otherwise, when we initialize this entire array without setting any elements in it, it, all of the default values is going to be zero, which is true for the first case, which is Fibonacci number zero equals to zero. That's correct. But the second element at index one should be one. Okay, with that said, we can hit submit button and see the result. All right, it's accepted, right? Uh, runtime beats 100%. This is a very intuitive solution. Basically, we use O n time and O n space. We need to construct an extra array to hold all of the elements, right? Um, another solution is that we can use O n um, time still because we need to iterate through all of them, and but we could use O one extra space, which is a very iterative way. Um, still. Uh, let's quickly go through the second solution, which is um, beginning is the same. When I when n is smaller than two, we're just going to return n. And then, then we'll have two variables called. We'll use a to denote the first index in the in the very beginning, b to denote the second element, which is one. And then we'll have in a while loop, while this n is greater than one, what we will do is we'll have another variable called sum equals to a plus b, and then we'll assign b to a. So basically shift all of the elements towards the right, assign b to a. So remember, at the very beginning, a equals to zero, which means the first element, f zero, b equals to one, which means f one, the second element. And then we will calculate the third element, third element using this um, expression sum equals to a plus b. And then after doing this sum, we have the third element, then we will shift all of the elements, every element towards the right, which we will assign b to a, and then we will assign b to sum. We will assign sum to b, which means all, every element is shifting towards the right. Um, and at the end, we're just going to return b, which is going to be the nth Fibonacci number. Of course, we are decrementing n here, while n is greater than 1. Why greater than 1? Because the first two elements are given, right? So we, like say n equals to 4, we don't need to go through until n equals to 0. We only need to go through n equals to 2 because the first two elements are given. That's it. All right, let's hit submit. It's also accepted, right? Also accepted. Uh, well, that basically concludes the tutorial for this uh, lead code problem 509 Fibonacci number. I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave me a comment below. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, see you guys in the next tutorial.